Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I want to share the experience with you guys of eating my first homegrown apricot. I really do like apricots, um, but they are extremely difficult to grow here in Pennsylvania. In the mid-Atlantic, they are just either riddled with disease or they wake up too early, get hit with a late frost, and then you end up really getting no fruits at all. Um, I have over here another apricot tree. This one's called um, Tomcot. This is one that a lot of backyard growers are, are raving about. You can see it's a bit late though um, compared to this variety over here, which is I believe called Early Blush. This is also one that a lot of backyard growers are raving about. Yeah, it's called Early Blush. So I'm excited to try this and I'm expecting next year a lot better of a fruit set. This is the only, I think, the only apricot on this tree, but it's not a big deal because uh, it's such a young tree. We just put this whole row in the ground here. These are all apricots, plums, and I think there's one peach in this row. They're all kind of in the same hole, really only about a foot or 18 inches apart from each other, all semi-dwarfs. We did the same thing over here with the the pear trees, Asian and, and European pears, and they're all either in the same hole. You can see that they're very close together, and they're also fruiting. So it's pretty cool to see that these young trees can put on some fruit, but realistically, I am not expecting this to be the best apricot that I ever eat um, because it is such a young tree. But let me get this off. Let me get this apricot out of this bag. <laughs> this may be a little bit more, oh, here we go. Okay. There we go. Now I wonder if this thing is just super ready. It is. It does feel soft. So I wonder if it's super ready or if uh, a bird had come in here and tried to get at it and the organza bag protected it. Um, but the bird knocked it off and it's not actually perfect, but I'm expecting because it did fall off. I think it's going to be really close to perfect. So let me give this a taste and I'll, uh, bring you guys along for what I'm experiencing. And I have had homegrown apricots before, um, in terms of my other stone fruits, I should say before I bite into this is that my cherries taste pretty much exact to store quality. I don't think I can even beat the store quality. Uh, they've got that down pat. Um, so I don't know if I can even, if it's worth growing sweet cherries, like the Bing type cherries, certainly with a peach. My peach trees are loaded every year and they uh, are way better than the store. Like nothing, it doesn't even compare. So I wonder what this is going to be like, if this is going to be way better than the store or if the store, if the, the growers that sell to the markets are picking these um, at the right time to get them actually ripe on their trees or not. So let's bite into this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy hell, guys. Wow. Guys, that is, inc <laughs> that is incredible. Wow. That's so sweet. The sweetness is so high that it almost tastes like cotton candy. Wow. Oh my God. I need to grow more apricots, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so how can I explain this to you guys? Um, you know, other than <laughs> my reaction, I think that tells it all, right? The store has been robbing us <laughs> of really high quality fruit. Oh my goodness. It's a shame that I'm not going to be able to get apricots every year too. But now I know, I mean, I know how good this is. It's kind of like taking, okay, let's see, let's take the most intense apricot you've ever eaten, multiply that by two, or we can take a dried apricot. You get at the store, a dried apricot, multiply the intensity of that by two, 
and then add in some really high sweetness that almost tastes like cotton candy. So it's almost like an apricot flavor plus cotton candy. <laughs> it's just so good, guys. It was so good. Oh my God. I don't know what else to say. I really am in awe right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna turn you guys around and think if there's anything else I wanna mention. I mean, it really is just one of those things. If you guys live in a dry climate, especially if you guys live in a place that uh, doesn't have so many late frosts, I would certainly be growing an apricot every year. Also, one thing to mention that really not many people are gonna tell you is that I don't water these plants. I don't water these trees. Even after planting them this, this spring, I didn't water. And the whole reason for that is because the less water that these stone fruits take up through their roots, uh, the sweeter the fruits are gonna be. So if you want a higher bricks fruit, obviously put them in more sun. Not that this is even in full sun right here. Uh, we're only getting about six or seven hours here on the west side of my house. But uh, less water is going to give you higher bricks across the board in all stone fruits, it seems like. And it's with that with a lot of fruits. So um, for me, that was unbelievable. I can't, I really can't put that into words better than I think I have. That was, in, that was insane. So maybe I'll come at you guys with another update and we can talk about these apricots over here um, and see if these are any better. I don't know how you can beat that. To me, that, that was a, like a, that fruit was a nine out of 10 compared to all the other fruits I've grown. You know, figs being a 10, uh, persimmons being a 10, that was a nine. Or persimmons being a nine as well, they're both nines. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that was so good. That, that beats some figs that I've eaten quite a bit, that's for sure. Okay guys, thank you all for watching. If you know someone who's thinking about growing apricots, just, just share this video with them. I mean, they're gonna be convinced, I think, right away. Uh, and if you're somebody who's waiting for your apricots to ripen and this is your first time eating them, uh, you're in for a treat. And if you're not, uh, if it turns out to be uh, not what this video said it was, maybe you're watering it too much. All right, guys, take care. We'll catch you all for tomorrow's video. Grow some apricots.